Walking by this booth just caught my attraction. First of all, we got a drone sitting behind us here, and I was wondering what the heck is this rope doing around this area? And lo and behold, this is a, a virtual charging station that you can do without landing your drone, and that's really, really cool. The name of the company is uh, Global Energy Transmission, and Leonard is one of the founders, right? Yeah, right. 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 So tell me why you decided to get into this space. What, what drove you to kind of like, we need to do something? Well, it's a long story, but basically I had a, well, I have a science background. Uh, in a high school, I went to the Department of Quantum and Physics Electronics. So my background is, you know, quantum physics. Yeah. And, well, with my brother, who has the same background, we spend a lot of time uh, studying various, you know, uh, old inventions of, you know, scientists like right. Nikola Tesla and others. And okay. at some point of time, we, we come up with the idea, okay, there, is, there should be something around wireless power. because. There were so many companies in wireless power industry a few years ago, yep. but all of them was like this distance yep. of this power level. Yep. So, and in both ways, this is not, this was not a true wireless power, right. but it was kind of a plugless, okay. not really powerless. We right. said, okay, there well, should be something wrong about that. Right. And we started to think about and figure out how we can change this, right. change it. So, right. that was three, four years ago, and. Well, we were lucky to get introduced to Tim Draper, yep. famous venture capitalist in California. Yep. But it was beginning of 2015, and that is how we get started. We incorporated yep. uh, in the United States and okay. started our company. So one of the things we talked about earlier was getting approval for, yeah. for your charging station. So can you just tell our <laughs> listeners and viewers what kind of process, what did that take? Well, yeah. Uh, well. The, the main thing for us is really FCC uh, certification, yeah, 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 because well, we well they, they need to be sure that it does not inter cause any harmful interference to other communication signals. Right. And right now here at this show we run an operate system under FCC experimental license, okay. which we received just uh, you know last month. Uh, and now we are in the process of, you know, testing, experimenting more to get a commercial one. Yep. And uh, hopefully we can uh, accomplish this soon. Uh, so the thing is that, uh, well, one of, of the other, uh, say, uh, not the constraints, but, but the thing to, to think about is yep. density of magnetic field. Right. So, and, and I can tell you that we are below World Health Organization standards for exposure to magnetic and electric field. Okay. So you can stay here yep. 24 hours a day, seven right. days a week, and you are fine. So right. no issues with that. So how close does the drone have to be to this charging area? Yeah, basically you have a transmitting antenna, which yep. is a loop, yep. and it forms sort of a spherical area Okay. with a diameter of the diameter of the loop. Yep. And drone should be inside this spherical area, okay. above you know, a charging spot. Can more than one drone use that, this charging station? Yeah, that's the point. I mean, with our technologies, if you have a landing spot, you need to maintain a, a certain number of dedicated landing spots. And, right. and, and Well, with this system, we don't care. Right. As long as you have enough power and enough space, right. you can charge simultaneously one, two, three, five drones. Right. And more importantly, we charge them very quickly. Yes. So we can fill in the battery, full battery, in eight minutes. That's incredible. Staying in the air without right. landing. Normally, charging a drone like this on the ground, what does that usually take? Time well, usually it's you know, like an hour plus right. minus, depends on yeah. the battery type. Yeah. yeah, exactly. How much power are you transmitting here? And do you, do a, you need a special power station for this? Well, uh, particularly this system can transfer up to 12 kilowatts of power. Okay. Which is, you know, quite a good amount, right. as I said, to charge several. Yeah heavy industrial drones at a time. Right. Uh, and well, then you need this similar power source. Basically, this is three phase, several kilowatts power source. That's all you, that's all you really yeah, but, need. Yeah, then, that's huh? all you really need. Yeah, yep. right. Yep. And no issues with weather? That's one of the advantage, the benefit of this system. 
So we don't care about rain, snow, humidity, or oh, whatever, okay. because we don't have connections, we don't have sparks. Right. It works the same way, and, and, and that is why it's really cool for autonomous mission, autonomous charging. Yeah. You don't need human interaction, it's yeah. safe, it's all weather. That's yeah. what you need. What's the idea of marketing this? Okay, tell me your marketing yeah, yeah, strategy. Absolutely. Well, the thing is that there are many applications where you want to keep your drone in the air all the time. Right. Uh, or like uh, surveillance, security, uh, filming, yep. uh, agricultural. Now we speak with companies, for example, monitoring of oil fields. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, and you and, 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 and you don't want to land the drone and sweep a battery every 15 minutes. Right. You can deploy a network of such stations yep. in the field, yep. and then drone can stay in the air as long as you need, and then you need more power, you just go to the closest station, yep. grab the power on demand, and continue your mission. Right. That's number one. Other, other thing could be security, yep. you know, like airport. They, you know? they want to be flying. Right. If, want if, you, want to, and, if and you want to keep your drone yep. flying to yep. intercept other drones, right. for example, right. or you know, control the perimeter, yep. you can do it with a system like this, right. for sure. Yeah. And finally, in the longer run, we uh, plan to deploy wireless power network in the big cities. Sure. And if you cover city with a network of such stations, yeah. then you don't have limitation in terms of distance of flight time of your drone within the city. Right. which enables parcel delivery, yep. security for government service, you know, surveillance, filming, everything. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm super impressed with what you've been doing here. Um, I know we got some really good uh, shots of uh, the different drones that you have. Yeah. And uh, man, I wish you the best. Mm -hmm.